part three shading again it's the same one so create a new layer and call it like skin something around that and change properties to multiply when I shade skin I use a kind of peachy color like this okay you can't really tell but you get it and make sure your skin layer is filled with white because it's on multiply yay and use the align tool to go around the edges that are opposite of your light source make sure you do that or else it looks bad and then just go outside the lines a lot because once you do the blur it will kind of bring it in and then the outside will be light when it shouldn't so yeah I'm going to skip the rest but it's pretty obvious I think you know what to do <laughs> do 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 Okay, so now that I'm done, I'm going to blur it. So effects, blurs, Gaussian blur. Depending on the size of your drawing, you're going to have to do a higher one, but if it's smaller, you'll do a lower number. I think I did about a 16 or 14. Mine isn't all that big, though. Load! Fun. All right. So go back to your color layer on use your magic wand tool select the skin on global tolerance zero back to your skin layer control i to invert selection and delete so that's kind of clear and play with the opacity a little bit if it if you think it's too dark i always end up making it too dark i don't know why okay so now create a new layer and this one will be like clothes and if you have a lot of different colors on your clothes I suggest doing a couple different layers on make sure they're multiply and fill with white as you can see I like multiply <laughs> and choose a color that is a lot darker than yours maybe not not black, but I'm using gray. So this is just a really, really dark gray. And just follow, use your line tool and follow the lines of anywhere that's opposite of your light source. And just keep doing that, keep doing that. Now I'm gonna skip the rest. Okay, so now that you have one layer of that done, on the same layer you'll do a slightly lighter color but still darker than your clothes or whatever it is that you're shading let's go on the outside this is so it isn't so harsh once you do the blur and I'm gonna also skip the rest of this because it's the same thing okay now I have all that done hooray so same thing effects, blurs, gosh and blurs and play around with it. Usually on clothes I do it a little bit more than I would on anything else. I don't know why though. <laughs> Usually when you look at clothes the shadows are kind of softer. And then again you do go to your color layer, select your clothes, control I and delete. So, it's kind of dark. Anyways, create a new layer, make that multiply again. Load. And go back to your color layer, select your hair, and now go back to your the new layer that you just made and move the selection over a little. So this will give you shading from your hair. And then fill it with the color that you use to shade your skin. 
<laughs> and then, um, oh, oh darn, I forgot to do E. Oh wait, you would go to your color layer and select the skin. I didn't do that because I'm a dork. Then do control I to invert the selection and delete back on the new layer. I don't know what I was doing here. I forgot what to do. <laughs> I'm a dork. Okay, so then you go in, there might be gaps in the shading, so just fill those in with like the paint tool, paintbrush tool. Then also do like the shading under the nose because that's a little finer and you wouldn't want to do a 14 blur on that. And sometimes you can do a line on the darker side of the nose. I usually don't do that but I'm just putting it here just to show you. I'll delete it later. Now effects, if, oh yeah, effects, blurs, Gaussian blur. And don't do it a lot because it'll just kind of disappear. If I do about a three, Sometimes a four, depending on. Anyway, it depends on the size of your art. I do a three. And then I just select skin, control I, invert selection, delete, just in case any of it went onto your hair or something else. It kind of went over the eye. And then make it the same opacity as your skin layer. Otherwise it looks awkward and very different. Mm. My shirt was too dark. I fixed that. So just fix quite the opacity.